I should say I have a lot of different setups here that you can do, right? But it's really not about the finishes, it's more about the control, okay? So again, really, really trying to emphasize um, that detail of, of how you get into this position and how you use this point of your hip and kind of have everything else free to start to attack, okay? Again, just one possible idea is to step over into this Kimura position where we have like, you know, our basic Kimuras, arm bars, darses, um, head scissors, all kinds of fun stuff there, which, you know, again, I could go on for another hour and show you guys attacks from there. Um, but I'd rather, you know, in a couple of minutes left, just talk about um, maybe a couple of things that happen here when this doesn't work, okay? Um, obviously with the gi, we have some other stuff that's kind of cool, which I could, I could happily show you guys this week if, if, if you have a gi on. Um, but just to kind of point out, we maybe won't even go over, you know, spend a couple minutes on each one, but really just the idea, okay? And again, the bigger concept here, right? Even if I lose the position, I don't really lose anything. Okay? That's really what I want you guys to take away from the class, is that if I do this correctly, even if Matt doesn't turn, or even if Matt defends and turns back, he will give me access to something else, or at the very worst, right, I'll be back where I started on top and I'm still in a dominant top position. There's really nothing to, to, to lose here by trying this because even if I lose, I'm still in a good spot. Okay? Does that make sense? You guys kind of following my trajectory here? Okay, cool. All right, so with that being said, I'm in my spot. I drive up, maybe I was trying to get Matt up here like this and I'm trying everything and Matt just, I just can't do it. He's either too heavy or he knows what I'm doing or his defense is really good and he's kind of like turning into, yeah, like too much here or he's kind of starting to turn away from me more than I want, like a hawk or something like a two position or something. And I'm just like, I don't find like that I'm going to have the ability to get to this spot, okay? So typically what I'm looking for here, right, when I feel like I'm losing my position, right, <laughs> is as Matt turns back into me, right, what I'm looking for is I'm looking to access the opposite side of his head, okay, over here, all right? So if Matt turns in, just, just do a regular turn, I'll just, just make it easier. So I go here, boom, I'm trying to get Matt up. Maybe I get like part of the way and he kind of, I just can't finish it, so do it really slow. And he turns back toward that side to close the space up, okay? What we're gonna do here, guys, really, really easy, right? As Matt turns back into me, I'm just gonna kind of push my chest into that shoulder a little bit, which will open up this side even more, okay? So it's kind of like um, like a seesaw type of thing, which comes one way, one side goes up, one side goes down, it's a pendulum kind of thing, okay? So we go, I start to get it, Matt turns back in me, I push down, which gives me access to this side of the head. You guys with me so far? Okay, so all I'm looking to do in that transition, do it a little slower, is shoot my hand, under there, okay, like that. And you guys could probably start to see where I'm going with this. Now I'll just walk over a little bit. I'll use my obliques and my ribs to turn Matt's head. And then I'll just slide back the door till get there, okay? So I'm just gonna walk back, we've got Marcelo show. It's like there all day long. It's such a dumb transition, but really off of the defense, it's almost always there. So I'm just playing plan A here. I'm trying to get Matt up, he's turning back in. I push down and I open up this space over here. I'm shooting my arm under. And again, if Matt's head is turned toward the side he's going, the way he's going, which it probably will be, all I need to do is use that side of my body to make his chin touch the ceiling, okay, like that. So as he's turning toward me, okay, I just, again, sprawl, walk in a little bit, and turn the head a little bit more. Now he's facing up. So now I can start to walk back and finish my choke, okay? Does that make sense to you guys? Yeah. It's just one possible option there off of the defense. Again, I've said the same thing like 400 times, which is kind of what I do. I just kind of repeat myself over and over again. Um, but typically when someone turns back in, again, if one side is gone, it doesn't matter. Because regardless of how he turns, right, it's, there's always another side to do that, okay? So let's just start there and play a little bit, right? So my partner's going to let me start to work a little bit. They're going to turn back toward me. As they do that, again, push down with that chest, slide off the partner a little bit. That will open even more of that space up. Shoot the arm in. Sprawl again, look how I walk. You guys see, here's the detail, right? Like, I'm not sprawling right here, I'm walking over a little bit. And that will allow me to use my body to turn it. Okay? Now that the chin is facing up, I just walk back. Keep walking back, keep walking back until I can get to it. Okay? Worst case scenario is what? We already said it. It doesn't work. Okay. All right, yeah, the mat turns back. I miss. Well, I can't finish the choke there for whatever reason. Look where I am, Fine, right? We'll just keep moving here. Maybe we'll go to a different position. Maybe we'll try to mount. 
I know which our base, you know, okay, but we're going on top, and we haven't given anything up to go for our attack, okay? Make sense? It's just uh, A to B, okay? A couple minutes.